This is the first video in a series describing a new library of DCC decoders called Interactive Decoders, or IDEX, allowing interaction with many directly connected switches and sensors. IDEX decoders give modelers abilities to sequence motion, sound, and light. They can be configured, started, and controlled by multiple external sensors, external switches, and or by DCC functions. These could be applied to moving vehicles, signs, locomotives, trolleys, doors, bridges, buildings, and anything that might require sequencing and coordination of motor drives, servos, sound, LEDs, relays, and lighting, usually to perform some animation, tell a story, or enhance a layout scene. They introduce several new concepts, including timing sets, to allow easy yet precise timing and coordination for model sequencing. IDEC decoders are based on the same SMA20 decoder hardware that have been used by many modelers for over six years. These videos show a relatively small number of applications for this very versatile library. I hope you enjoy them to enhance your own modeling efforts. A link to the construction details accompanies this video. Oh, hi, this is a demonstration of the interactive decoders. This is one version, IDEC 1.1. It's the motor control. And I'm just trying to start off with a relatively simple demonstration. This is a uh, forklift, obviously. Uh, it's being pulled along magnetically uh, by a screwdriver mounted underneath the, uh, the black uh, top. And uh, underneath that screwdriver, uh, there's a a special mount that holds two magnets that corresponds to the two magnets underneath the forklift. And we're just going to move it back and forth and we're going to coordinate with sensors on the end to reverse it and also to uh, play a sound. So let's start up and give the first demonstration. Just a short horn there. And a short whistle ascended in the other direction. We can also control the speed because in this particular case, uh, we're controlling the speed with the actual uh, speed control to the decoder, the, the DCC speed control. We can slow it down, we can make it speed up. You really hear the wobble on the screwdriver. And there's also a master decoder, uh, decoder disable, which we can hit with uh, function zero, which will turn the entire decoder off with whatever it's doing, except for sound, because the sound module will play whatever track it's on until the end. But we can make it go, turn off, turn on, in the usual sense. So at either end, the sensor is simply a contact switch that's being pushed by the uh, slide on the screwdriver. And that's basically uh, uh, the entire demo for this one. Relatively simple, relatively straightforward. But you get to control it with uh, sensor inputs in different ways. Here's another example of using a, an interactive decoder. Again, it's the motor control, except now we've placed it inside a small locomotive. Uh, in this case, an old Athern Hustler uh, re-lettered a number for the BEDT-30, which didn't exist. Uh, nonetheless, it has two sensors uh, in the, uh, located at the bottom of the locomotive and it'll detect uh, a magnet placed on the track on either side of 
uh, near uh, the rail, uh, either rail. On the engineer side, a magnet placed there will uh, reverse the uh, locomotive after stopping and, and uh, uh, play a soundtrack. And in the uh, uh, other side of the rail, a magnet detected on the fireman's side will pause the locomotive and play a soundtrack and then start it back up again in the same direction. So let's show you an example of using this in an alternate form. Uh, uh, most of the time I don't have IDEX when I use them uh, in any kind of uh, uh, locomotive, but uh, very often I'll put them in some kind of uh, moving animation. So here we go. As with the other IDEX, we can also increase the speed and control the speed. So here we increased it. and we decreased it in the other direction. So you have the same kind of control. As you would a mobile decoder placed in a locomotive. And with one exception, you also have the F0 function, which will which will disable the entire decoder. And it'll just turn it off. In this case, we turned it off in place. Okay, I have one last thing to show you. Um, with this, just I've added a second sensor, second pause sensor which in this case is just another magnet, just to show you the versatility uh, of the, the IDEC. It'll literally respond to any sensor condition or multiple sensor conditions you've got. So we'll start this up and uh, show you the double stop or double pause. And it picked up the two pauses in a row. Likewise, it should pick up both going back. And there you have it. Hi, this will be a demonstration of the large function set uh, version of uh, the IDEC demo. And uh, 
This decoder has a series of commands in effect uh, associated, each associated with a delay and a function, and it will step through them uh, one by one performing whatever the animation is. In this particular case, we're controlling a different bell with a servo, and uh, the small servo is going to move the bell back and forth. Now, in conjunction with that movement, we're also able to play a track uh, of audio, and uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to select different sounds for the bell to play. So let's try it out and see how it goes. notice when it stopped, it stopped precisely in the middle. That's because the final step in the sequence uh, for the one of the functions in the set was to position the bell right in the middle of its traverse so it would look like it had come to rest. Now we're going to try and change the uh, timing between it, uh, between the bell sounds, and you can get a feeling for what how the chi timing changes uh, affect the bell ringing. Okay, I decreased the delay between steps and let's see the reaction now in the animation. Okay, and I'm going to decrease it a little bit more. Now, that was quite a difference. Now, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go all the way back to be slower than where we started. go even a little slower yet until uh, we start to get some uh, undesirable effects. You can see in that one, the, uh, the bell really uh, stays in place a little bit too long. It doesn't really look right. Uh, this was all done with the decoder. That's the IDEC 2-2 two two underscore 5 uh, uh, large function set decoder.